The importance of energy is the lifeblood of a camp. When you see the difference that light makes at night, um, to everyone, it's just, uh, it's pretty special. When you see the difference that um, providing fuel for cooking can do, it's just so obvious that it's, it's the way forward. There are three different types of lights that UNHR use in a camp environment, uh, but each light then is broken down into different types of lights. At the household level, refugees can have a panel on the roof, um, which then connects to a lantern inside their house, or refugees can simply have the panel and the lantern together and they put the lantern out to charge. Public lighting, uh, UNHCR currently have two solutions. One is solar street light with a built-in panel on top, battery and light. The other solution is that you have a normal uh, street light and it is supplied energy by a solar grid a certain distance away, which then harvests energy during the day, puts it into storage, should it be a national grid or should it be a battery bank, and then at night um, the energy is converted and goes straight through a normal street light. At the communal level, there is a number of solutions too. Communal lighting can be for showers, communal lighting can be for schools, communal lighting can be from clinics. You put light there, it becomes a nighttime facility. When you put up a light, the noise level goes up across camps. Noise as in human beings, uh, just being human beings. Human beings talking, human beings laughing. Um, that's what lights do, light brings up the noise level. With biogas, where it's culturally appropriate, it is a fantastic solution for managing human waste and producing energy. The first process is us, uh, as human beings, we are biodigesters, so we take food, we need to get rid of our waste. When you have uh, communal toilets or latrines, um, we then basically collect all the waste. As it digests the waste, uh, it releases gas. The gas then uh, goes to the top of the biodigester, and at the top of the biodigester, the gas naturally then can flow through a pipe. The pipe will then go to kitchens, and then you can burn the gas through a normal gas stove. So the quantity of gas, recycling biogas, can address up to 50% of what's needed in the camp. There's 50% less waste. The quantity of people's well-being and life as a result of it, that's one that you can't measure. <laughs>